Hey everyone, welcome to Wanna You Do. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic. We have all heard that life is not fair, or at least it is not the same for everyone. We all have our fair share of happiness and tough times when things don't go our way. But at the end, it's all about what you have become. They say you either win or you learn. Suffice it to say that life is a continuous learning experience. Throughout our lives, we keep rising and falling, picking up important lessons along the way. Some of these lessons come from experience, yet there are a few that we learn watching others or reading in books, for example. No matter how much we learn from books, there is a significant difference between practical and theoretical experience. Furthermore, there are many life lessons that we simply cannot learn until we face certain situations in our life. Most people would say that there are some lessons that come too late, catching us off guard and unprepared. So today, we'll talk about the 12 controversial lessons that you can learn from life. I know it's a little harsh and controversial, but the truth is that you are not the center of the world and life goes on with or without you. You are not the epicenter of the universe. It's very difficult to view the world from a perspective outside of your own since we're always so focused on what's happening in our own lives. What do I have to do today? What will this mean for me, for my career, for my life? What do I want? And so on. It is normal to be intensely aware of everything that's going on in your own life. But you need to pay as much attention to what's happening around you and how things affect other people in the world as you do to your own life. It helps to keep things in perspective. If you want to have a good life with a successful career, emotional satisfaction and trustworthy friends, you have to work hard. Easier said than done, I know. Luck can take you only so far and the rest is entirely up to you. The amount of effort you put in every day and the ability to learn from your mistakes. Don't think for a moment that someone else is going to fight your battles with the same vigor and devotion as you would. Health is an invaluable treasure. Always appreciate, nurture and protect it. Good health is often wasted on the young before they have a chance to appreciate it for what it's worth. We tend to take our good health for granted because it's just there. We don't have to worry about it, so we don't really pay attention to it until we have to. Heart disease, bone density, stroke, cancers, the list of many largely preventable diseases is long. So take care of your health now or you will regret it later on. Another controversial thing I've learned from life is that you cannot achieve everything. No matter how carefully you plan and how hard you work, sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to and hey, that's okay. We have all of these expectations, predetermined visions of what our ideal life will look like, but all too often, that's not the reality of the life we end up with. Sometimes our dreams fail and we are forced to change our minds mid-course. And sometimes we have to flop to find the right course and sometimes we just have to try a few things before we find the right direction. No one has it all figured out. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has all the answers. There's no shame in saying, I don't know. Pretending to be perfect doesn't make you perfect. It just makes you neurotic to keep up the pretense of manufactured perfection. We have this idea that there is some kind of stigma or shame in admitting our limitations, but we cannot possibly know everything. We all make mistakes and mess up occasionally. We learn as we go and that's life. Besides, nobody likes a know-it-all. A little vulnerability makes you human and all the more relatable. 
I know it is going to spoil all the beautiful romantic films that you have seen, but the truth is that love is a choice. That burst of initial exhilaration, pulse quickening love and passion does not last long. But that doesn't mean long lasting love is not possible in life. Love is not just a feeling, it's a choice that you make every day. We have to choose to let annoyance pass, to forgive, to be kind, to respect, to support and to be faithful. Relationships take a whole lot of work. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's incredibly hard. It is up to us to choose how we want to act, think and speak in a relationship. We often don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. And that includes your health, your family and friends, your job, the money you have or think you will have tomorrow. When you're young, it seems that your parents will always be there, but they won't. You think you have plenty of time to get back in touch with your old friends or spend time with new ones, but you don't. You have the money to spend or you think you will have it next month, but you might not. Nothing in your life is guaranteed to be there tomorrow, including those you love. This is a hard life lesson to learn, but it may be the most important of them all. Life can change in an instant. Make sure you appreciate what you have while you still have it. I'm not afraid to let myself cry. There, I said it. You shouldn't be either. It's okay to let yourself feel your feelings rather than pretend like they don't exist. It's possible to let life's moments touch you without allowing them to hurt you. It's also important to express your emotion to others rather than suppress them in order to avoid ruffling anyone's feathers or keep them inside for fear of embarrassing yourself. You can only push yourself for so long before your body, mind and spirit toss their hands in the air and say f*** this, I'm out. When you keep pushing yourself to do something, it feels like something you have to do. But when you pulled by something, it feels like something you get to do. Me? I'm pulled by my obsession with learning about personal development, success and motivation. And then sharing what I learned to inspire people around the world to live up to their highest potential on a daily basis. This is one of the things in life that juices me up and gives me purpose. There's no such thing as being fearless. There's only courage, which is the ability to take action in spite of fear, to feel the fear and do it anyway. Everyone's afraid of something. I feel fear almost every day. Oftentimes, our fears come from our imagined potential for failure and hence the term fear of failure. Now, because embracing fear will indeed often mean we end up failing, it's important that we recognize that it's usually not nearly as painful and uncomfortable to just feel the fear and do it anyway. Ironically, the stress and anxiety that comes about when we think about doing what we fear is usually more painful and uncomfortable than doing the damn thing and getting it over with. Get it? Several years ago, I read a great book called The Power of Full Engagement by Tony Schwartz and Jim Lohr. In the book, they described a new system that totally changed my way of approaching my personal and professional life. They described how the real key to high performance and personal renewal isn't about managing time, it's about managing energy. And it's so true. Each day gives us a short window of about two to four hours of high energy, high productivity time. It's during this short window that we can operate as the sharpest, most creative version of ourselves. Which is why we need to leverage this time wisely if we want to be as productive and effective as possible. My window happens to be between the hours of 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. How about you? Another one of the most common regrets among the dying is this. I wish that I had let myself be happier. The last thing you want to be thinking about when you get to the end of your life is whether you allowed yourself to just be happy or not. 
Because the simple truth of the matter is this, life is a choice and so is happiness. You can choose to be happy right there, right now. This is what it means to live like you give a damn. To choose happiness in as many moments as you can. It's never too late to start living like you give a damn. The fear of change had these people, the ones who wish they let themselves be happier, putting on a false facade, pretending to be satisfied with life. When in reality they knew they were lying, not just to others, but to themselves as well. When deep inside they yearned to laugh and be goofy and weird and loving, just like they used to be when they were little kids. But it's too little too late for them now, they're too close to death. It's certainly not too late for you though. Hopefully you still have time, time to change, embrace fear and give a few fucks less about what others think of you. When you're on your deathbed, what other people think of you is the last thing on your mind. What if you could just let go and smile again? What if you could just be you? And what if you could do it now and not moments before you take your last breath? Guess what amigo? You absolutely can. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos.